everybody and welcome back to my channel beautiful tangled mess and i am bringing you today another episode of live free dine hard the vintage edition <laughs> With the vintage edition of Live Free Dine Hard, I want to explore a lot of the old recipes that are in old cookbooks or recipe cards from the 1950s, 1970s, who knows, but it has to be a very, very bizarre recipe that just looks so disgusting. And my goal is to try to recreate this recipe with you and nail it 100%. Let's get cooking. All right. Let's start cooking this delicious little gelatin flavored tuna flavored gelatin thing. Here are the ingredients that you will need for this souffle salad. Lemon gelatin. The lemon juice and since I'm lazy I got lemon packets from the gas station. Did you know that they had that? So convenient I didn't even have to pay for this. Hellman's mayonnaise. And it says in the recipe Hellman's mayonnaise so they're still in business. There you go. Three fourths cup of chopped cucumber or chopped celery. I hate cucumbers so I decided to use celery instead. A half a cup of sliced stuff. A half a cup of sliced stuffed olives. Say that three times fast. I bought pre-sliced olives with the pimento in it. And then we're also going to need an extra two tablespoons of the pimento itself. So I'm just going to try to grab two tablespoons out of this jar of olives. Whatever. A half a teaspoon of grated onion, which seems so pointless to me, but if the recipe calls for it, then we're going to do it. And of course, the main ingredient that we need is the star kissed tuna. Let's get a close up of this tuna now, shall we? Mmm, so good. So now we're gonna start putting the ingredients together. And I know that they probably. I just almost fell over. And I know that they probably didn't have kitchen aids at the time, but I don't have a hand mixer. I have this handy dandy kitchen aid. So we're gonna use that. And I hope. Nobody's offended. The first thing that we are going to do is dissolve the gelatin in a cup of hot water. It looks like egg yolks. It is time to mix in the cold water. We are now going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. So hopefully <laughs> I can do this with these packets. <laughs> One tablespoon of lemon juice. I'll just do the other three packets for the second tablespoon. Next, we're gonna add a half a cup of mayonnaise to this lemon jello mixture. Mm, so delicious. Ew, it plopped in there nasty like. Ew. We're gonna add a fourth a teaspoon of salt and then we're gonna blend it up together and then we will go from there. It's all chunky! Ew! You want to look at it? <laughs> Ew, the bowl's still warm! Ew! <laughs> oh, that's so gross! Now that this is done, we have to put this mixture in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes so that it can firm up and we can use it in the rest of the recipe. Ew, you see that sloshing? Whoops. <laughs> Okay, we are now on to the second half of our recipe. So now what we are going to do? This is our mixture that was resting in the freezer. So the recipe calls that we put this... Oh. Ew. We put it in this mixer again and we beat it until it is... Did you hear that? That was nasty. We're going to beat this until it is light and fluffy. Ready, set, a go. Okay, it is rocking the entire table. It smells like deviled eggs. Oh, it just looks like boogers. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that that's light and fluffy. So the next thing we're going to do is combine all the other ingredients together and fold it in. Celery. <laughs> Sliced olives. I took out the pimento and I com I put it in the with the onion, and that's what we are also combining in that. Last but not least, we cannot forget the main ingredient: the tuna. Ew! Do you hear that? Ew! 
Ew. But there you go. Those are the ingredients and I'm about to fold it all in. Oh god. <laughs> and here is the final result. It looks like sc <laughs> scrambled eggs. So the next thing I'm supposed to do is take a bun cake mold and pour it in the mold. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. the amount of ingredients that I have. Can you see the grossness? It's not focusing. Maybe I should put my head behind it. There we go. That's what it looks like, everybody. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for an hour and then... Pardon me. The souffle salad is in the refrigerator and it's going to chill for about 30 minutes to an hour and then we will go back and we will have a little taste test so I will see you then. So I am back and as you can see I have a very special guest a little bit today. This is my lovely boyfriend right here who agreed to be the first guest ever on this vintage live free dying hard episode and he has no idea what's underneath here and I'm very very excited <laughs> to see this. Oh. Okay. Are you ready for the big reveal? Yep, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. The mold is way too big. <laughs> Look at how flat it looks. That's it is very close. <laughs> very close. We are gonna decorate it a little bit. I'd say this is like a success slash fail because I did not get a big enough, a small enough bun cake. We top it off with some mayonnaise. <laughs> we top it off with a slice of olive with a pimento in it. I think the decoration on the side right here is supposed to be pimento slices, but I couldn't find pimento slices, so I'm using ketchup, because ketchup and tuna fish go very well together. Oh, excuse me. We are the <laughs> free. <laughs> oh my god. Here it is, folks. The beautiful salad souffle right here. Doesn't it look delicious? ready to taste test this wonderful souffle salad. I sure am. I made this specially for you, so you better like it. Would you like to slice a piece? <laughs> sure. Ready everybody? Live free, die hard! Oh my god, now I'm nervous. I don't know, it was just a lot of flavors together. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here. <laughs> uh! That was really disgusting. Yeah. Let me just say that tuna fish and lemon jello does not go together at all. Um, oh, it's camera. like every single flavor was coming one at a time. Yeah, and it was like, <laughs> at first, initially, the initial bite wasn't too bad. I was yeah. just like, it's got a weird texture, and then it all started hitting yes. one at a time, yep. and I'm like, oh, 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 like. I don't like the crunch. I honestly will say that this 1955 tuna salad, blunt cake souffle, whatever the heck it is, is definitely a thumbs down for me. <laughs> Okay, well that was the first installment of my Live Free Dine Hard Vintage Edition. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up if you are looking forward to the next episode that will be coming soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below and click the notification bell so you can get notifications for when I put out new videos and also take a look at my social media pages. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I got Snapchat, I got Facebook and you can check me out there. So be sure to look at those and thank you so much for watching. Always remember that life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most out of what we have been dealt with in life and make it the best time of our lives. You guys are awesome and I will see you.
you in my next video. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.